one aspect of the film that's like a sort of visceral assault, not specifically on this, but just on the audience. I thought that to make a film that really is hard to watch and really... <laughs> <laughs> and um, I somehow imagined, like, and this will get into all the festivals. <laughs> I succeeded incredibly well. It got into one festival, which is Ottawa, inevitably. Um, and Do you think you're going to get it? Or? Well, I think like you, you won't. You most, it's, this is always the response is to tell people about this film. And like, I can't wait to watch this. And at the end of it, they look at me like I'm a lunatic. <laughs> because um, for whatever reason, I, I mean, it is. I'm not one of the world's great public, spe public speakers, so I sort of choose to communicate through incomprehensible films. And um, I, I watched it, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't sit around watching my own work, and I haven't watched it for a couple of years because you only know, look at this stuff and it gets shown. It doesn't get shown, so I never watched it. So I watched it yesterday, checked the DVD, and actually I'm not sure even I understand it. <laughs> and, um, and in a way, I'm, I'm slightly offended by it myself. <laughs> um, and it, you know, it's about all sorts. It's not just about that. I, I wanted to make something that was sort of that played with film language and, um, and was an incredibly difficult thing to watch. But I, I sort of imagined it would be rewarding, I suppose, in some way. But it, it turns out it really isn't. Um, but it's not just about that, I mean, it's also about sort of, um, it's also about sort of a number of other things, you know, one of, the, one of them, to be honest, is that my mind was kind of crumbling into bits as I made the film and I just let it go. I just thought I'd make this sort of thing, there was no storyboard, it was very, it was quite a tight script sort of stations that I had to hit, there was no idea of how to get from one to the other. Um, so it was sort of improvised in its, um, in its path, in its meandering path, but it always hits these points. And it's sort of very influenced a lot of it because it's about what was going on in my mind as I made it. It's, it's also very influenced by what I was watching um, as I made it. So you know, there's, quite, there's, a, there's a big chunk that's a reference to 2001, and the only reason it's there really is that the week before I got to this section, it was, because the film was made perfectly linear. Uh, I happened to watch 2001, so it like went in, and then there's like zombie bits because I was watching zombie films. And, um, <laughs> so you know, it's also sort of, it's sort of like a, about um, my mind sort of crumbling to dust as I made the, the film, um, and, it's, and it's also about the sort of um, the sort of maelstrom of stuff that's around it. it I mean, I suppose if I have to say what it's about, really, it's about the fact that I don't understand the world, and I never have understood the world. I've always felt like I'm kind of lost in this world. And um, I've always been interested in pop culture and the news and the sort of, you know, whether it's um, whether it's high school massacres in America or whether it's getting cancer tickets or whatever. It's sort of like it, it all just piles in there. And just, it's, you'll sort of. You'll see it. I, I mean, that's kind of what it's about. It's just my reaction to feeling lost in the world and and sort of thinking I've got to make a film that's a sort of arty one-off short. And actually, I'm not that interested in arty one-off short. I'm much more. Interested. I spent like years trying to get series made and stuff, and never succeeded. Um, so I. The funny thing about this film is that since I finished it, I became like very inspired and I've written lots of stuff. And uh, that sort of is an arty one-off shot. Um, although the thing I'm working on at the moment is about two South London and four hundred old sociopaths. So again, it doesn't really quite fit in with the, with the um, sort of the old man looks sensitively back at his life. <laughs> and funny enough, one of the things that I wrote. Um, since I finished this film, is an old man looks sensitively back at his life. Um, but that will be the next thing. That will be the next thing that I want to make. So it's, um, I've got a number of things lined up if I get to the thing I'm working on at the moment should, should be finished in a few weeks. It's like a completely different place. Still got a 
I hope you'll come back in a in a month or two then and you know show more comprehensive yeah, well, selection of stuff if you haven't put you off. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to show a more comprehensive selection. Of stuff. Um, something that's very distinctive for me about this film is the the beautiful drawing style, the the kind of the sort of for that word cartooniness, the sensibility of it. Um, makes you think you're about to watch something that's perhaps more light-hearted or more obviously comic, yet what you actually see is something a lot darker. Can you say something a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to sort of, you know, to, about this sort of festival audience thing that I was talking about there. I kind of wanted to play with this film language and it starts off, it's, it's really quite cartoony in a wonky sort of way. Um, and it's very obvious that it's the lowest form of toilet humour and people think that's what they're going to get. Um, and it's, the timing is all deliberately wrong, so the very unimportant things last a long time, very important things. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not so unique, I mean, you know, I was looking at, um, I was looking at, I th thought like one thing I would like to do is take the films of Sam Peckinpah and the films of Sergio Leone and take all the violent bits because uh, Sergio Leone is interested in the build-up to the violence. It lasts an immensely long time, the violence is that, it's gone. And Peckin Peckinpah's the other way around, he's not so interested in the build-up, but in it, as soon as he hits the violence, it's in incredible slow motion. And the moment the violence takes off, I thought I'd like, like to take both their films in. Take the build-up from Sergio Leone and tack them onto the um, violence by Peggy Pass so it will last an immensely long time, then do the opposite. Take the, the build-up from Peggy Pass and the violence from Leone and it will last three sec seconds. And I don't know why that interested me, but that's what I, would, I thought I would play around with this idea. Um, and it, you know, it's also and there's also just bits and pieces of stuff that I read like um, that the most common, one of the most common places that a woman will go into labour is whilst sitting on the toilet. And one of the most common places that people will die of a heart attack is also whilst sitting on the toilet. And so I thought I'll put that both those in the film as well, start the film. It, it, it doesn't start with a woman giving birth, but it does start with kind of a, a birth. On, on, on. I don't need to go like that, just <laughs> on the toilet. And ends up in the same way. And uh, this is also bits, of, bits and pieces of interesting stuff that I read. And, you know, there'd have been many more of them if I, when I started the film, I'd watched QI, but I don't think it existed when I started making my film. But it's full of those little sort of bits of things. Yeah. Sorry. When you got the residency in Dubai, was it just, could you do anything you wanted and did you have to show it at the end or anything? Or was it just... um, I, did, I, hadn't, I could do anything, no, it was, it's a long story how it happened, but um, no, I could do anything I wanted, um, and I, I didn't finish the film but by the time I left the college, and uh, the, the college kind of disowned it. <laughs> but there, there are people thanked on the end of this film that never spoke to me again. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wasn't invited back to the college, <laughs> And I got like I got fifty thousand euros from the um, film fund in, in Germany. And they Say that again. Fifty. Fifty thousand euros I got from the film fund around Stuttgart because they have this federal system and they're all like in competition. And um, Baden Württemberg versus Stuttgart, as they want to be seen as they wanted to be the film area, and then we let them get much money. So they kind of became the animation area. Good area to go to if you want to get money. Um, but they made it very clear that I will never make another film. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, so I was kind of hounded out of there. They, they were, I mean, they were unbelievable. And, um, another <laughs> accolade, another success. Yeah, they said you didn't make the film that you, you, you didn't make the film you said you were going to make. I said, well, I like, did. Yeah, you were script, actually, in the script. I, I mean, admittedly, it doesn't. It doesn't look like the film that sounds like the sort of pretentious blurb that you have to write. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is exactly that. They just didn't read it because it was in English. So, yeah. I think that's a kind of a US 
P. I mean, that should go on the poster, the film that... I don't need the poster, do I? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>